Hey guys, how you going? This is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another maths lesson. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about quadratic equations. And in particular, we're going to talk about the discriminant. We're going to talk about uh, what it is. and how we can use it okay so firstly uh, let's have a look at a quadratic equation in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c and if you remember uh, in the last few lessons where we talked about the quadratic formula which is a way of solving a quadratic equation when y is equal to 0 so we had 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c if that was the equation then x would be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a if you remember the quadratic formula now the expression inside the square root this part here is called the discriminant so if you haven't seen the quadratic formula you might have to do the tutorial on quadratic formula first so you get a better understanding of what it does uh, but basically what the discriminant does is before you even use the formula you should find out what the discriminant it, uh, is because it can tell you inform you how many possible solutions there are for X inform you how many possible solutions of x exists so let's have a look at three different quadratic equations and um, use them as examples to see how the discriminant works so the first equation is y equals x squared plus 2x plus 4 and let's graph that equation in Graphmatica so in Graphmatica you're going to type in y equals x squared plus 2x plus 4 and you can see that this graph does not touch the x-axis at all so if you were going to solve the equation 0 equals x squared plus 2x plus 4 there will be no solutions no possible no solutions for x because it simply does not exist so have a look at the graph you will see that when y is equal to 0 which is right here so vertically y is equal to 0 the line does not have a point 
where y is equal to 0. So the discriminant b squared minus 4ac, so in this case we have a is uh, 1, b is 2, and c is 4. If you put these numbers into the discriminant formula, so the discriminant which is which has a symbol of a triangle equals b squared minus 4ac which equals 2 squared minus uh, 4 times 1 times 4 so that's 4 minus 16 which is a negative number so negative 12 now if you try to put a negative number into the quadratic formula so if you try to put the negative number into the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root of negative 12 over 2a uh, actually we know that b is 2 so I'm just gonna put it doesn't make any difference anyway so negative 2 over plus or minus square root of negative 12 over 2 times 1 if you try to type this in the calculator will say undefined because you cannot square root a negative number uh, at this stage of our maths anyway so the summary of this section is when the discriminant is negative there are no possible solutions for x right bracket when y is equal to 0 right and you can also say that there are no uh, x intercepts or you can also say that there are no roots right because basically roots means the same thing as x intercepts so the discriminant is useful for telling you if there are any roots in our equation and if the discriminant is negative then there won't be any roots so let's try doing this again with another equation so I'm just gonna clear this okay so now let's try um, y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 and we can see that a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and c is equal to negative 8 since we are referring to the this formula y equals ax squared plus bx plus c so from this equation the discriminant will be equal to b squared minus 4ac which is 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 8 which is 4 plus 32 which is 36 so we have a positive number as the discriminant and as you can imagine if we 
try to solve the equation 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 and we use the quadratic formula negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a so we got negative 2 plus or minus square root of 36 over 2 times 1 there will be two solutions if you evaluate this expression here and if you try to if we show this to you in Graphmatica so y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 you can see that there are two x-intercepts x-intercept occurring here and x-intercept occurring here so the summary point is that when the discriminant is equal to a positive number there are two roots or you can say x-intercepts x-intercepts okay so the other possible situation is when the discriminant is equal to zero so that will be the case in this equation here if I give you an equation y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 a is equal to 1 b is negative 4 c is 4 the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac which is negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4 which is 16 minus 16 which is 0 when the discriminant is 0 there is 1 x-intercept or root which means the same thing now let's try typing this equation into Graphmatica to show you that there is exactly one x-intercept y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 so y equals x squared minus 4x plus 4 and you can see that the line touches the x-axis at one point only showing that there is only one root okay so the summary from today is for a quadratic equation in the form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c the discriminant which is symbolized using a triangle is equal to b squared minus 4ac if the discriminant is larger than zero for example a positive number there will be two roots which are the same as x-intercepts so there will be two x-intercepts if the discriminant is equal to zero there will only be one root or one x-intercept and if the discriminant is a negative number in other words smaller than zero then there will be no roots or no x-intercepts Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.